Hello, my name is Jonathan Oxier, and I write strange stories for strange kids. You might know some of my characters like Peter Nimble, or Sophie Choir, or the Night Gardener. Um, and today I want to tell you about a character from my brand new book, which is called Sweep, the story of a girl and her monster. The monster's name is Charlie, and Charlie is a golem. Now, golems are characters from Jewish folklore that go back for hundreds and hundreds of years, and the idea behind a golem is it's like they're almost the original Frankenstein's monster. They're usually created by a person, often out of clay or mud in the shape of a human, and then they are brought to life. Golems are cooler than other monsters because they're not fighters and they're not fierce. What golems are is protectors. And in this case, my golem, his name is Charlie, and he is a protector not of a whole community, but of just one child. So part of the reason I wanted to write about golems is because in my own life when I was growing up, I was a very big, clumsy kid, and I was also very gentle. Uh, but that was hard because sometimes when people see a big kid, they think they might be a bully or they might be a good athlete or something like that. And I was not that way. I was a pretty quiet kid who just liked to draw pictures. Um, and I wanted to create kind of a, a, a monster that sort of felt the same way, even though he's very big and strong and frightening for some people to look at. Uh, inside, he's extremely gentle. Um, and so that's what I did. A lot of people ask me uh, how I became a storyteller, and I've always loved stories my whole life. Uh, I was not the strongest reader as a kid, so I found different ways to tell stories. Uh, my mother is a painter, and so I grew up painting and drawing just like her. And so for years, instead of writing down stories, which was hard for me, uh, I spent my time coming up with stories in pictures. And I would draw for hours and hours and hours, and I would draw superheroes, and I would draw kids from my class, and things I saw in nature, and also just things straight from my imagination. And that was the way that I learned to tell stories. And even though I write stories in books now, I always start all of my books with pictures in my journal. I'm constantly doodling, mostly pictures of monsters, and every once in a while I draw something that feels like the spark or the beginning of a story. I look at that picture and I want to know more, and the story grows out of that. If you found a whale in your bathtub, what would you do? If I found a whale in my bathtub, First, I would freak out, because whales are huge and probably scary if you're close up. I've never been close up to a whale. But I would also feel bad for it, because I know whales need the water, and my tub is not very big. And so I would first plug the tub, and I would start running the water. And as it got higher and higher, I would have to seal off the windows. And then as it got higher, I'd spilled out of the bathroom, because my bathroom's pretty small, so I would plug up all the windows in the house. And hopefully the water would fill it up so that the whale could have a huge house-shaped aquarium. But then I would have nowhere to live, and so I would move onto the roof, and when I wanted to visit the whale, I would have to get a scuba suit and go down and say, hello, and the whale would say, hello, back. And then uh, me and whale would be best buddy, and I would have a little aquarium in the neighborhood, and kids would come, and it would be super, super fun. That is what I would do if I found a whale in my bathtub.